but it's been almost 20 years since Lara Croft broke onto the scene in the original Tomb Raider. And uh, here now to dive into her latest adventure, Rise of the Tomb Raider, is the game director for Crystal Dynamics, Brian Horton. Brian, it's great to have you uh, here. I spent a lot of time with you guys uh, when you rebooted Tomb Raider for uh, Final Hours app that I put out. And uh, it was great to see the game this morning at Xbox. Visually, it just looks so phenomenal. Like you put up that CG trailer last week and everyone's like, oh, that's really cool. I can't wait to see the gameplay. And it's like, looking at today, I'm like, wait, that sort of looks like the trailer. Um, it was absolutely incredible. So uh, first of all, congratulations on being uh, game director for this oh, title, thanks. which is awesome. And tell us, I mean, you know, the, the the Tomb Raider that came out, I guess it was, what was it, two years ago now? Mm -hmm. um, you know, really, I think, surprised people about the playability of it, the, the narrative of it. Uh, it really was a true reboot. Rise of the Tomb Raider, you know, the gameplay, everyone knows, is probably going to be there. But where did you, you want to take this game, uh, you know, two years later for another adventure for Lara? Because she's obviously is, is continuing to grow up, become a stronger adventure. Yeah, so Lara was a survivor in yeah. the last game. And now she's more than a survivor. She is uh, going on her first great Tomb Raiding expedition. Right. And that's a big shift in tone for us. Yeah. That she's proactively going out there and seeking these truths. Yeah. And this uh, demo that we showed today, this live gameplay footage, is showing Lara going off into Siberia into a hostile remote place right. to try to uncover these truths. And it's, and it's an exciting thing. It's a, part of the fantasy fulfillment of being a Tomb Raider. There you are live on stage. <laughs> That's right. Look at that, looking good on the Xbox press conference stage. Uh, so tell me about, you know, the the gameplay of this game, because, uh, you know, what I liked about the last one is there were sort of the big, you know, action-adventure moments, and there were sort of the smaller moments, those moments yep. of being a survivor. So are, are we going to lose some of that now because she's a bigger adventurer? Or, I mean, are there is there still that sort of the, those moments of weakness, too? So we have what we call the explosion, these okay. big moments, and we yeah. also have the implosions, these personal moments that, that make Lara grow as a character. Right. I mean, our number one goal is to make Lara the most human and believable character in video games. Right. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of what you're gonna see Lara do throughout the entire game. And it's gonna be a mix and match of our right. classic recipe of um, survival action with traversal, dynamic traversal, the combat that you know and love, right. and of course, tombs and puzzles. Yes, I know. More tombs, right? Yeah. Uh, so tell us about the, the cast that we're going to see in this game. I mean, is it a whole new cast of characters besides Lara? Does it continue on some of the characters from the previous game? What's great is you're seeing Jonah yep. and Camilla um, as, as Lara Croft. Yep. And these are returning cast members. And if you've played the last game, you'll, you'll recognize this bond and you'll be yeah. excited about it. But if you've never played the first game, Jonah still comes across. You know, we introduce him. Players yeah. that have never played the first Tomb Raider game will we'll get to know him. And he becomes a great companion for Lara Croft. Yeah. But you know, tomb raiding is is a hard job, and, yeah. and it often is a solo adventure. So d don't 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 fear. Lara will still have a lot of the game to do right. on her own. So in terms of you know features and whatnot, um, are you guys? I mean, are, like you did multiplayer last time, and what what can tell us about multiplayer for this time? Well, we're not going into that right now. Our goal yeah. right now is to talk about Lara's next adventure, this this great um, adventure to Siberia. Okay. And in addition to Siberia, we have another location as well. We've hinted at in some screenshots and in our sizzle reel, this desert location. So we're going to make sure that there's more to do, more places to see, right. and so more diversity and more sort of diversity, where you're go. Okay. and making our exploration spaces even larger. Yeah. Sometimes three times larger than our last game. Wow. So more density, larger, epic, and of course bigger and better tunes. Well, I've heard about the also the crazy bear fight. Yeah. Tell us about the bear fight, which you saw, I think, in the Game Informer. It's a tease of this massive, like, battle, right? I mean, last time it was uh, wolves, but now this time you've got you got a, a, an epic bear boss sure. battle? Sure. Predator animals. I mean, yeah. it's a big part of the Tomb Raider franchise. Yeah. So the bear was a big investment for us. We really wanted to make sure we brought something new to the table, yeah. something that wasn't just going to be one and done. Like, you really had to work on upgrading your character. Yeah. Lara's going to have a lot more things to upgrade in the game. She'll be able to hunt and gather not just XP, but resources like hide and antlers and things like that that will actually upgrade her, her okay. equipment. And that's a big change for us, is yeah. really in investing in Lara's growth as a character, not only as a human being, yeah. but also her skill sets. So you're going to yeah. see a lot more of that in this next game. Well, I gotta say, it's uh, you know visually, I think this was when I was watching the Xbox briefing, just the, the level of detail of it really just uh, it blew me away. What you guys are be able to uh, put together with this, and the best news is coming out this year, right? Yeah, it's coming out this year. We got our, our date, the tenth yeah, of November, November. 10th, up against Fallout, so that's gonna be quite the battle. You know, we we, we love Fallout, <laughs> but yeah. you know we we believe we offer something completely different true, in the yeah. gaming space, and you know it's yeah. it's always great to have two great things. Well, that's you know November. It's like you got Call of Duty, Halo, Fallout, Tomb Raider. It's like everything happens in like a four week window, anyway. So, yeah, but we're really excited about yeah. our 
partnership with Microsoft. They've yeah. been extremely supportive and a great partner. And uh, you know, big shout out to the team at Crystal Dynamics. Yeah. I mean, they're working their butts off to make sure that this is a great game for your the old school Tomb Raider fans and those people yeah. that just want to try something really cool this November. Yeah, I mean, everyone that bought it either on old gen or when it came out to uh, Xbox One, uh, it looked uh, absolutely, uh, you know, looks absolutely phenomenal what you guys are building on, and I think we all wanted more of it, so it's uh, great to see it'll be uh, coming out. And it's coming, so it'll be exclusive to Xbox this holiday season, right? Exclusive to Xbox One and yeah. Xbox 360 November 10th this year. All right, well, uh, Brian, thank you very much hey, for Jeff. the uh, sneak peek at Rise yeah, of Tomorrow. I look forward to hanging out with you guys a little